makeup challenge. Oh, that's what I think I'm gonna call it. I'm just, I'm still trying to figure out the name for it. So we're gonna go back in with my hat, um, and we're gonna pick a color eyeshadow to do. Okay. I'm trying not to look at it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got it. And the color we're gonna do today is red. And that's cool because I do have some eyeshadow palettes I can use that is has the color red in it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use this one, Shimmery Dreams. Yeah, that's the color I'm going to use. And the palette Zodiac, I, it's a, it had a little bit of foundation on it. I mean, not foundation, I'm sorry. Um, eyeshadow on it. And first, the color I'm going to use is, hmm, I think I'm going to use this dark brown, kind of chocolate brown kind of color. All right, and then my eyeshadow brush. Oh, I already did my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows off camera because it's best. So, we're going to do that as my base. Okay, so I use that as my base, you guys, and then I'm gonna take my um eyeshadow base. This is always the eyeshadow base I tend to go gravitate towards. I do have another one I want to try. Let me see, and I like to pat it on my eyelids. Oh, let me do another one. So what is a show you guys are binge watching? Uh, leave it in the comments. One show I believe I binge, I've been watching or very much getting into is The 90 Days. That's one show I got into. Um, only because I watch um, The 90 Days Caribbean. So now I'm watching the new 90s days that just came out. I think it's be called Before the 90 Days. I've been watching that, and that one is crazy, you guys. If you guys haven't watched it, I think you guys should check it out. And then the color I want to use, I'm going to use the shimmery red right here. It's crazy. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Let me just put it on my eyelid. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't expect it to have that much pigment, but it does, okay. Um, okay, and then I'm going to actually go back in with the, um, the Zodiac Sorry, I actually got me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys can't see that off camera, thank God. Um, the Zodiac palette. That I'm going to do here one more time. Okay, that looks a little better. Um, now, I'm going to do my mascara. And the mascara I've been loving is the LA Girl one. And this one is Lash Lifting Mascara. Full volume. Now I'm going to actually do my eyelash glue. I'm going to actually do my eyelash off camera because I can never do it on camera. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to learn how to do it one day, but off camera, I just do it naturally. So I'm putting the glue on. Oh, and by the way, my eyelashes are always, always from eBay. Yep. 
eBay has very affordable eyelashes and Amazon, I always say check it out. Only, well, I always buy from eBay, but I never tried Amazon alone. So yeah. Now, we're gonna let the eyelash go, like the eyelash dry a little. And then from there, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Moisture Lock Primer. I wanted to use the jelly one, but I can't remember where I put it. So we're gonna do this, and then we'll just pat it on. I'm trying to learn how to continuously pat things on my face instead of like having it where it's like oh I'm rubbing it in so yeah well, I'm rubbing it a little yeah I think that's better it's kind of this one is kind of like a lotion kind of formula to me it's kind of like a lotion Next, I have a whole bunch of like primers I've got to try and setting spray I have to try and show you guys like switch it up. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so next, since we already just we just did the primer, now we're gonna do my color corrector. We're gonna use my color corrector and the color always gonna be orange. I wanna try the red one and I always use LA Girl Zone. I like to put it in my dark spots. Oh wait, right here. I don't really have any dark spots on my forehead, but I just put it just because. <laughs> right. Now you kind of just blend. Well, not blend, but like, you know what I mean, like pat. A little for this product goes a long way because if you put too much, you would see um, your whole face would just turn orange as hell. And to be honest with you, we don't need that. So what I like to do, I just like to put a little bit. I try not to put too much. And if I do, my concealer, uh, the next concealer I will use usually does cover it. And I like, oh, I forgot to say, and I like watching the 90 Days, um, the Pillow Talk, where they have, like, I guess, different cast or different couples that was already on 90 Days. I like that because they're actually very funny. The things they say when they're watching the, sh the episode is hilarious. Okay, so now that I had that pat in, oh my nose, oops. I'm gonna use my, again, my LA Girl. That's the only concealer I really use. I do have a Revolution one, I haven't tried. I'm gonna check that out. Um, and the color Toast. And this one, I like to use more of a gentleman, like more of a generous amount, due to the fact that um, this one is more of a full coverage. So yeah, not gonna lie, I don't think I have bad skin. It's just sometimes I would get like a pimple here and there, and it would like leave me with like a dark mark so yeah oh and what's good for dark marks i always tell everybody is share butter that works very well 
if you have dark bars, I recommend you use Shea Butter. Um, it works well. It works amazing on your skin. And within a month, your dark marks go away. And that's what I use for my skin, for my dark marks to go away. This one I'm gonna kind of drag it down. It's only because I'm trying to get my neck to be more blended out. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. I just last time I tried to use like kind of like the um which one um the Fenty and not the Can't Stop Won't Stop. And I noticed I need the Can't Stop Won't Stop. And let me dab that in. And I just want to let you guys know this channel is going to be mostly, I want to touch on everything, like, I, that is something, but like, um, I want to maybe focus on cooking, because I like to cook, or like, um, perfect example too, like, yeah, I like fashion, so that's always going to be on my channel, and, um, like, I want to talk about, like, movies too, I recommend, and like, stuff like that, like, right now, also, I'm watching... On uh, my laptop, I'm watching Sex in the City. The I guess the reboot. It's quite okay. I'm still trying to get into it. I was watching Gilmore Girls on Netflix, and I don't know. I for the life of me, I wasn't really into it. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna give it another chance. See if it gets better. Cause it was I was only in the fourth episode, so I think I'm gonna keep continuously giving it another chance, another go, just to see. If I genuinely am liking it. Doesn't mean. <laughs> I'm very weird when it comes to TV shows. Like I want to find a show. And it's like. Within a few minutes somebody dies. Or like some type of drama. And um. I don't think Gilmore Girls is that type of show. <laughs> I think Gilmore Girls is more like. A fall. Witty type of. Warman show. And that's cool and all, but I like drama. Like, I don't know. In TV shows, not in my life, personal life, no. But yeah, I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna do one more of the can't stop, won't stop. I think the can't stop won't stop. It doesn't leave my skin looking like cakey, and then on top of it too, I love the fact that it kind of um makes my skin look. Cause I have, I I think I used to have oily skin, and now I think my skin went to dry. Oh, and also I'm using this Cargo Cosmetics um foundation. I used to kill this foundation. Cause I used to work at Kohl's, so I used to love that. Um, I'm on medical leave for Kohl's because of my accident that I was into in 2019. However, um, prior to the story, 
I purchased that and it's at Kohl's. I don't know if it still is. And I actually really liked it when it came out, when, when it was on sale. So I don't know if they still have it, but I actually really liked it. Okay, so that's done. Um, now I am going to do the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation on top. Kind of like, let's bake. Let's bake. I like to do like heart, but it's never gonna come out as a heart. So, whatever it come out as, it's gonna come out as. <sighs> All right, and then I'm gonna take my other makeup sponge. Usually I let it set. Actually, that's not a set. <laughs> All right, I'll be back, you guys, because I'm gonna do my eyelashes off camera. Can't don't know for the life of me how to do lashes on camera, so I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back, you guys. I look like a crazy woman, but I'll be back. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Back at it again. Hi, you guys. Sorry. Back again. So, now, we're going to do, we're going to set, I mean, blend in my foundation. I don't know what I was going to say for a second. So, beauty blender, beauty sponge, whatever y'all call it. Alrighty. I was watching this um video on Instagram and it was like how does people in the US do their makeup and people in the UK do their makeup and I promise you I feel like I do my makeup like the girls from the UK because their foundation um like even how they do the concealer i'm like oh this is exactly like the girls from the uk and i'm living for it and now i'm gonna do my makeup revolution baking powder and banana um i actually like this i didn't expect myself to like it like at all but i'm like hey i like it You see my crazy lashes going. Oh, that's your crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, my eyelashes are going nuts. <laughs> okay, guys, I accidentally got that there. Okay, now, now we're going to do, oh Jesus, um, we're going to do my blush, <laughs> and it's from my beauty treat, and I'm going to use the reddish color, because my look is red, so might as well, right? Blush again. Okay, this look is coming together. Okay, now I'm gonna do my um, LA Girl Perfect Precious Prechance Eyeliner. Gonna line the lips. I have to wear lip liner because every time I do my makeup and then I do my, uh, like, after I do foundation and everything, I promise you, I look like I have, like, my lips are missing from my face. Like, you know those dolls you could take off the lips? That's how I feel. And I'm just like, okay, uh, it's time to do lip liner. There was, when I was growing up, there was a doll you could take on, like, the, the lips and the, uh, the eyes, that's how I look. I was like, oh God, I don't look cute. I like to do that. 
Now I'm gonna do my top toffee talk um mega last liquid katsu from wet and wild i did lip since my what you call it is over there eyeshadow and blah blah is pretty much out there so i do not to do Okay, right. I like to do this because I want to make sure my neck matches my face. And then, now, I'm going to, ooh, usually I do a mole. Okay, today, it's going to be without a mole. <laughs> I usually darken my moles, but I left my mole thing in the room. All right, you guys. So this is the finishing look. Unfortunately, I usually darken my moles, but I don't. Oh, actually, let me add one more thing. This is not the finishing look. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hold on. Got it. So, I, I add a little bit of um, Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. This is the finishing look. I hope you like this look. Um, this is my take on the red type of makeup. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends and family about this channel. And make sure to turn on your notification buttons. Um, make sure to be safe because out, out here, if you're from LA, it's crazy. But in general... Just be safe because a lot's going on in the world. Make sure to be kind and stay blessed. I love you guys. Bye.